Today, New York State is responding after another daycare facility in Buffalo had to be shut down. The Office of Children and Family Services calls the allegations against Young's TLC daycare shocking and appalling. Police say someone at the daycare on Broadway used corporal punishment on a two-year-old twice last month. They say a person held the child down and poured water on their face. The state says this called for an immediate investigation and enforcement action. Young's is the second center in Buffalo to close in less than two weeks. Mosey's Ultimate Family Daycare was shut down late last month after a two-year-old was found unresponsive there. Those two incidents may have left some of you with children wondering how should I make sure that my child is in the right daycare center. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan walks us through what you need to know to help protect your family. It's a big decision for many families. Good morning. Good morning to you. Kids in daycare can spend dozens of hours with their caregivers every week so their parents can work. You're taking uh, your very precious baby, toddler or preschooler to a center or a family home. Amanda Kalkenberg is the CEO of the Child Care Resource Network. The organization offers free help to families looking for child care providers. The group says it is important to choose the right type of care for the family and for the child. There is no one type of child care that just works for everyone, which is why New York State recognizes the need to have those different types of care. In terms of even children, um, the type of program um, can be a good fit for a child. Uh, you know, not all children are the same in terms of what they need. It's important to also check your daycare provider's information on the Office for Children and Family Services website. That's where you can find any state inspections and whether they've had any recent violations. We encourage parents to look at those regulations and understand what types of health and safety requirements child care programs need to follow. Any violations of health and safety regulations or other concerns with a daycare center can be reported to the State Office of Children and Family Services. In Buffalo, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News. And the struggle of finding safe, affordable, quality child care is the issue 7 Eyewitness News tackled in depth last night during our half hour special on the child care crisis in Western New York. We invite you to watch it. You'll find it right now on the WKBW app and WKBW.com.